I was written up for my part two introduction of Alfred's coverage of the Dusseldorf Boat Show in Germany. HR really had it out for me, but I'm still here to introduce the king of Hallover, Mr. Chit Show himself, Alfred Montana. Becky, can you pass me that beer, please? Well, a uh, whole nine and 14. Guys, this is Alfred Montaner in Dusseldorf, Germany. This is the final part. This is part three, guys. It's been absolutely, I, I've had to do this video in three, three long pieces so you guys can get everything. I think this is the last part that I'm gonna show you guys and give you guys the vibe here at the show in Germany. And like I said, if you wanna see a lot of the boats, you wanna check out the other two videos that are absolutely fantastic as well. So we're here now. This is hole nine, which would be the last bit. And I was asking yeah. on part two, uh, I, was, I was saying, where are the smaller rib boats? like Williams and stuff like that, and boom, I get hit with Zara right here. So, and we did see some really, really huge Zars, big boys, from this brand on uh, Hall 6, I believe. But these are tenders for yachts. Absolutely beautiful boats, guys. Beautiful boats. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of boats on, on, this, on this section as well. So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna I don't know, let's go. Let's do this Alfred Montaner style. We're just gonna react as we see stuff. And if you guys just caught this video, my, I'm, I'm the host of the Chit Show down in South Florida. I'm from America, but I came to, to Düsseldorf, Germany, so I can show my audience in the States how incredible this particular boat show is. Very, very nice show, boat. Uh, Love this, love this. And one of the things that I saw on all three videos is a lot of rib boats. And I think a lot of you guys are starting to see why the European market is such a fan. Very, very nice. There's a nice black one here too. We got Williams in the house. <laughs> All right, let me uh, show you this and we're gonna go to Williams. You know, Lauren from Williams always uh, comes and uh, gives us some info on the latest models and things that they have coming out. And I love my, my rib boats, rigid inflatable boat, guys. Wow, just when I thought that this boat show was over. Guys, give yourself two days to do this show. Or one long day, get here early. Um, yes, yes. Now these, these yacht tenders will fit in the garages of a lot of the bigger yachts that we saw earlier. Big, big fan, guys. Look at this. Got a little Raymarine uh, GPS there. The 435 Sport Jet. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm a fan. I like it. Let's continue. Um, 
What a show, guys. What a show. Talamex. I haven't seen Talamex. I have a, a, a series called the Dinghy Series down uh, in Miami. And I basically get on a on an inflatable like this. It's a soft bottom. This would, would be considered soft bottom because it's all air. And I've gone through a lot of the areas in Miami and showed all the really rich neighborhoods and the backyards of the rich and famous. And I've done it on a little with a 2.5 Mercury or 4 point uh, horsepower Yamaha. And the point of me doing that series is to show you guys that whatever it takes guys, you can do anything and not a lot. You don't need to do a lot to, to be out on the water. We got AB Jet over here coming up. So many rib boats, it's nuts. Now on my channel, uh, I've done rib boat restorations of boats like this. I've actually done a rib boat restoration of an AB. So a lot of times people think that once these in inflatables, they get old, you can't replace them. You can. So, so in Miami, well, what I'll do is I'll replace these tubes. And we've done videos of how we do it. I've done videos on my channel of how they're made. And you'll see the differences on the baffles, right? So. Yeah, there's 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 a there's a baffle right here. There's a seam. So see that from here? So and then it looks like there's another seam here. Wally! Wally, Wally, Wally. Roto molded hull boat. Wow. With electric, the 270 Wally. Under 2,000 euros. And VAT. And guys, this is hard plastic. I mean, technically you can throw this off of a mountain and nothing's gonna happen to it. I mean, it'll get scratched up, but you know what I've done? I've gotten a heat gun whenever something gets scratched and I'll just get a heat gun and, you know, take the scratches off. With, I mean, they're minor, it can't be real, real big, but there's ways to fix it. I, I do like these wallies, and they're very light, guys. They're very, very light. I, I've seen people put them on the back of pickup trucks. You know, speaking of pickup trucks, I've only seen two pickup trucks in all of my travels over here, and I drove from the Netherlands, from Amsterdam, to this show in Dusseldorf, and I only saw two Dodge Rams. That's all I saw. I like this. This is a nice looking boat. What a tender. I love this. Ast is tender. Looks ultra light. Sir, what's the weight on this tender? What's the weight? Okay. Okay, no worries. I mean, they're not the friendliest place people here, but my goodness, I just asked one simple question. Ah. Get off my lawn! Get off my lawn! Hey, nice boats. Sorry about that. I, I should have said, excuse me, sir. I mean, it was my mistake. Forgive me, sir. You know, somebody will be like, you know who you just met? You know who just told you? Bah! Our Marine. 
Oh, oh, this is right. I've seen something like this in one of the shows in the past. This is a tuck away. I love this. Yes, yes. What an invention. Your engine just tucks away, guys. So it can fit in any small compartment. 7,000 euros for the boat. Wow. Look at this. So it gives you the flexibility of having an outboard, a reliable outboard. So, so here, let me tell you why people do this, why, why this is important. Because in a traditional um, uh, garage on a yacht, since the engine is normally outside and you lose all that space, right, up and down because of the engine, they can't fit into the garage. So they have to have an inboard in the center section. But what happens is the inboard sometimes are not as reliable or not a lot of people can work on them based on where the yacht is in the world. So this, anybody can work on this outboard. Um, so it's super attractive for somebody to have something as, as, as stowed in like that. That's, that's awesome. Very good thing. All right, we got some other rib boats. We got Zodiac in the house. Zodiac is on the other side, but this right here is a 3D tender. 3D tender, guys. What do you guys think? I'm a fan. Small boat, but a lot of space you can lay out, your wife, your kids. Want to get a little bit of sun. 3D tender. Here's where you have Zodiac. And Zodiac uh, has been in the rib boat game for a long, long time. Here's the Medline. I did a video on a Medline in Miami. Beautiful riding boat, guys. Zodiacs are very, very nice riding boats. I actually did a walkthrough of the factory in North America, but I think they're just assembling there now. But when I did the video, they were actually fabricating in North America, but I think now they're just assembling in Somerville, South Carolina. Beautiful boats. Oh, look at this, sea storm. We're gonna see if, uh, is this rotor molded? This is rotor molded too. Wow. This feels a lot heavier. Much, much heavier. Now, okay, perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. Like th these small little scratches, you just, you put a little heat gun on that, that thing will disappear. I like it, I like it, they look cool. Aggressive looking boats. I'm sure there's a whole kayak section over here at the show. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to film that, but I'll, I'll see if I can. Alunat. These like look like more commercial, you know? I like this. Search and rescue. Quick, everybody just jump on and save somebody. Ital boats. Wow. Now, I think, I think my audience is starting to realize, those that watch my diehard uh, audience, those people who have been watching my channel for a long time, now understand why rib boats are so popular in Europe. That's all you see, right? I mean, how many center consoles have we seen that are all rib boats? 24-footer here, 
57,400 XVAT. Uh, I think that's value added tax. I don't know. Comment below. VAT, what's the VAT? VAT tax? I know it's a tax. Look at this. I like this console. Very nice. European style console. Definitely a fan of this brand. Look at this, guys. Ital boats. I'm liking this. Look at look at the diameter on these tubes too. Stinger 24 GT. It's got storage under there too. Massive storage. Renary. Shark 19. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on with this other boat here? Let me see something real quick. Oh my goodness, there's a, there's a boat there with wings. 29,950 euros, Suzuki 60. Now, I can see, I can see a boat like this out in the States. Let's go to the other side, guys. We got some. We got a boat with wings, and I don't see a red uh, bull logo. Excuse me, gentlemen. Thank you. All right. Ah, let's go. We're gonna go to the wing boat now. But hold on. We got Tiger Cat. Nice. All right, we're gonna come around. We're gonna go to. Aguilis jet tenders now on the way back, but let's go ahead and see this boat that uh, flies. Oh my goodness, what is this? I don't know, I don't think it flies, guys, but damn, look at this. Oh, it's kind of like a, like a tour boat. All right, we have in Miami a very, very popular tour boat called the Thriller. And the Thriller is famous for showing our tourists kind of uh, the areas in, uh, in the water. And I would encourage you, if you go to Miami, there's a place called Bayside. And in Bayside, the Thriller launches. And they have a tour boat like this. That's cool. I like, I like that. Ribcat. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is different. Look at this, I like it. Very, very nice looking boat. It's almost like a little tender for your yacht. You can sit people in the back and then you have someone at the helm. I like it. Um, you gotta keep in mind guys, all these people uh, end up making boats based on their experiences. So somebody thought at some point, hey, what if we do this? I think this will be good. All right, here's another Raptor. And uh, this is alestamarine.com. And it looks like they have like tour type boats. But yes. And we have a jet car here. Look at this guy. So, so cool. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so 
I think on the first series, we saw some of these inflated, not inflatables, kind of like paddle boats. But here, this must be a huge thing in all the lakes here in Europe, guys. Because they're all over the show. Imagine taking this on your lake. There's the information right there, guys. Aventuras Acuáticas. Aquatic Adventures in Spanish. Wow. They have all types of boats. All right. Let's continue. Oh, we got Hobie Kayak over there in the corner. We got Sir Marine here. What a three-part series, guys. I mean, I'll tell you, if, if you have, I mean, we literally walked the entire show. Um, well, on, on the power side, right? That, that's the part that kind of interests me and my channel. Um, on the power side. Absolutely awesome. Um, look, here's another type of cat here. I've seen some videos on YouTube. These uh, boats just flying, flying. Good. Tiger Marine Ribs. Beautiful boat. Top line 600. Well, this is different. It's got a little insert right there so you can lay out if you wanted to. Tiger Marine. Nice looking boat, it's Tiger. Hobie, Alex Foguera, a buddy of mine's in Miami, does a ton of Hobie-related content. I would, I would defer to him, because he's an expert on Hobie kayaks and everything kayaks. Oh man, look, you wanna move your stuff around? Wanna move your boats around, guys? You got a big boat lot? Look at that over there. Multi mover. Just move your boats around. One person without using a truck or anything. That's pretty convenient. Wow. Wow. Good stuff. I like that. What's the price point on something like this? Um, I don't know, there's not a price point, guys, but check them out online, Multimover. Nice looking uh, tool to move your, your boat around. Especially if you don't want to move your truck and, you know, some, some, like my neighbor, has a very tight area that he has to bring in his boat. And he has to adjust to his truck and this and that, and it gets, it gets tough. I mean, he does it because he's just a badass when it comes to, to parking his boat already. But not everybody has that. Lomac, oh boy, Lomac. Lomac, Lomac, Lomac. I was looking for this brand. I hadn't seen it in, in the other two videos, and now they're here. No, oh, no, they got the gate of death. We can't go see more, guys, the gate of death. 
Gran Turismo. Well, nice looking boats, but they're closed off. So we'll go to Norther, North Star. Here's a huge Tiger Marine. Wow, this is a big, big one. Nice looking boats, guys. Nice, nice looking rib boats. I've never seen this brand. And this is why I come to Germany, my friends. This is why I come to Germany. I gotta have the accent, right? Look at the low max. They're pretty real boats. I wish I would have been able to film them. Such a shame. All right. A Gillis jet tender. Let's see what's going on with a Gillis. I have yet to see this brand in the States. I'm saying they haven't gone, guys, but I haven't personally seen them. Real teak on a little tender. You'd be surprised, guys, how much these things cost. Very nice looking ribs. All right, let's keep on moving. We're gonna keep it moving, guys. We're gonna, oh, we got Brig. Oh man, it's been a while since I've seen Brig at the, at the shows. Oh man, I'm excited about that. You know, Boyd from, from Brig, oh, well, Boyd, I mean, Boyd is a freaking legend for, for me, dude. I mean, the guy knows everybody in the rib boat industry. He's such a, he's been a supporter of me since the beginning, even when I didn't have a huge fan base like I do now. And uh, he recently moved to North Carolina and I believe he's building the fluid line and he's doing a lot of police boats. So it's good to see Brig over here again. And these, these uh, I believe are made in the Ukraine. Good stuff. Brig is back. I love that. And you know, there's been a lot of crazy things going on in the world, guys. But hey, boats unite people. Wow. These things, these things would sell like hotcakes. I mean, they couldn't hold them in Miami. They couldn't, they didn't have enough, they didn't have enough of them. They're very popular in Miami as well. Because of Boyd, Boyd sold a ton of them. The Boyd sold a ton of uh, Brig um, out of Sirocco Marine in Fort Lauderdale. We got some big, big brigs out here. And they're very good riding boats, guys. Very, very good riding boats. That's one of the reasons they're so popular. They ride very nice. This is the Eagle 10. What do you guys think? I think, I think I've filmed so many rib boats that you guys actually probably want one. Smash a like or comment below if you're like, Alfred, I'm considering a rib boat because of you. Say, just say it, just say it like that. Alfred, I'm considering a rib boat because of you. That'll make my day. It really does. Every time somebody tells me, Alfred, I bought a rib boat because of you, it just, it just puts a warm feeling in my soul.
Salpa. Let's see what's going on with this guy. This thing looks beautiful. Wow, there's another salpa over here. Soleil 42. Visit only by reservation. I mean, we have some pretty nasty weather and water out there in, uh, in the States, guys. But how's the water? How's the water over there in, uh, in Germany? Or, or in other areas, like the Netherlands? Like, comment below. I know some, some areas in Spain have really rough waters. All right, so I think that's all of nine. We've done this show, guys. Oh, no, wait, Highfield. Wait a second, I didn't see Highfield. I miss Highfield. How can I miss Highfield? How, Highfield is an incredible brand. I almost left the show without seeing how Highfield. And these are some big boy Highfields too. Nautical Ventures took me out on a boat ride in Miami. Crazy, crazy video. We did a sea trial. I don't know if it was this one here, but I'll tell you right now, the, the captain that was driving was a maniac. I loved it. I, I was like, dude, I want you to be my dedicated uh, sea trial captain all the time. That's why I get in trouble, guys. And, and, and not, to, not to mention that they're always pushing the boats harder when I'm on them, right? They push them to the limit. And I love filming the sea trial videos and, and showing you guys how these boats perform in the water, not just looking them at the shows, right? Highfield is really, really representing here in Germany, guys. I'm glad to see that you guys get to see all these Incredible options, different types of styles and looks. All right, now I think we can say we're done, at least here. So I don't know, guys, comment below what, what uh, you guys a fan of anything in particular that you liked? Um, I liked... <laughs> I liked them all. I liked them all. I liked them all. Look, we're going to use this beautiful, beautiful bow area from Wally Tenders facing this incredible show, right? Right here. And we're going to do the outro, guys. Wow, look, this is what I've been wearing at the show. This is some of my merchandise, guys. That's my Chicho shirt. Alfred Montaner. Guys, thank you so much for watching this three-part series. So if you did not see the... the oh boy, I'll fix that later. <laughs> if you did not see the three-part series of this entire video, check it out. Um, Alfred Montaner, part one and two is completely different than this. So you guys are gonna really enjoy all of it. What is this? Guys, this is a scene. I remind you making a scene as always. Big shout out to Hooks and Glasses for sponsoring my videos. I'm out of here. Alfred Mountain making a scene. Germany, Dusseldorf. You guys were amazing. I'm out of here. Boom! Today's video was brought to you by Hook Optics. To get more information on Hook Sunglasses, go to hooksunglasses.com. Whiskey throttle hats and chit show gear are also available at luxuryribtenders.com. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out.